Uh, in this film I'm going to uh, explain how to create and edit blocks. Blocks are essential to any CAD drawing for two reasons. Firstly they keep down the size of a drawing uh, and obviously uh, a drawing that takes up less space has got obvious advantages and secondly it makes editing multiple objects much easier. So if for example you have a, a drawing with a hundred tables in and they're all identical if you discover at some point that all the tables are 20 millimeters or three inches whatever it is too long or wide or short if they if the tables weren't blocks then you'd have to change every one if after making the first table you created that as a block you simply change that first table and then all the rest will change so the example I'm going to use here is a picket fence. That's the model I'm going to use to show you how they work. So if I right click, I've got all my tools already here. I just need this box tool. It's the only tool I'm going to use here. And I'm going to snap to the grid here with a G snap. I'm then going to leave my mouse alone. And I'm going to do all the accessing of my boxes at the bottom left here with the tab key. So I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to say the width of my uh, my picket fence is 80 millimeters. The length, which in effect is the depth, uh, is 30, and the height is 80. Uh, sorry, the height is 800. There's the picket fence. I'm going to do two meters of fence. So I'm going to, in the same tool, snap to V here and draw a two meter uh, strut or a brace across the back. So again I'll uh, access <coughs> this box with a tab 2000. Length is actually the thickness and because it's coming towards us here we would make that minus 30 and the height I'll make it a little bit narrower than the, um, the, the uh, pickets so I'll make that 70. Now if we weren't using blocks what we'd do at this stage is we would select this go to modify array linear copy and make a linear copy of all the pickets but before we do that now we're going to make it into a block so I'm going to go to uh, tools palettes blocks there's my blocks library I'm going to select the picket I'll hover over the origin keep my finger down I'm going to take it into the blocks library, take my finger off. This will automatically come up and ask me to give it a name. So, call that Pick It. OK. Now, you see, when I've done that, the pickets disappeared from here. It's because, the um, for some bizarre reason, uh, the default to, to doing that, which I find rather annoying, if you go to options and uh, auto naming if you click onto this box here insert block when creating if you click onto that then that won't happen let me get rid of that and I'll show you what happens this time so I'm going to draw I'm going to draw another picket here in effect draw that picket back cancel that so I'm going to draw it here the these there, the width can't be zero. So there is. So I just can't see it. So we're going to go tab. I said it was 80. Tab uh, 30. Tab 800. Right, there's the picket again. Now this time you're, because I've clicked that insert block when creating, now when I left click, put my finger down drag it in when I release the finger it says ask me to give it a name call it pick it again P -I -C -E -T. now you see that stays there at the same time makes a lot more sense okay so that's in options auto naming make sure that box is checked it's not by default personally I think it should be anyway so I've made a block of the picket and now I'm going to make a block in the same way of the strut and I call that 
brace or strap be on it brace okay now now we go through exactly what we've done before we select this we go to modify array linear I want a linear copy access the uh, boxes at the bottom left with the uh, tab key tab so it's going to be a hundred if I make it 160 that means the gaps will be the same width as the width of the pickets the Y <clears throat> don't want to be anything don't want it to go either either way in that direction and the Z step I don't want any height I want it to go up or down tab again into sets how many I want to end up with I happen to know 13 will work just fine there's my 13 pickets I can select the base now I'm going to raise that up so I'm going to go to Delta Z I'll raise that up say 90 mil and then I want another one up say another three or four hundred millimeters up so I'm going to go right click make copy and again in Delta Z this time I'm going to type 500 hit return that looks about right thing to remember when using that make copy is to remember to turn it off <clears throat> so there's our picket if we want to see it a bit clearer go to view uh, visual styles hidden line there you go there's our picket fence now all of these 13 pickets are in fact looking back at this picket here so if we would have not made uh, a block of them if these 13 pickets all took up X amount of memory this fence is now taking up 13 times X plus the struts but because we've made a block of it all these 13 pickets are all looking back at this block so if this picket takes up X amount of memory we can have a million of these pickets and it's still only taking X amount of memory so that's a good point now secondly is in the editing if I want to if I now decide that I don't want say straight tops on these I want curved tops if this wasn't a block I'd probably delete all the pickets change this one then copy them all again no big shakes here but if it was a big drawing with thousands of pickets it might be a problem so if I want to edit this I select the picket I click EC which stands for edit content there's my picket okay so now I need a work plane tool so I'm gonna go to I should have put it on my mouse really but I go to palettes tools 3d model work plane work plane by facet I'm gonna click onto that facet I'm gonna get myself a cylinder I'm going to snap to the midpoint here with an M snap a V snap here to that edge and then take that through to a V snap there to that edge hit the space bar so I've now got a cylinder on a box I'm going to add these two together so I'm going to go to modify modify 3d objects 3d boolean operations add I'll add that box to that cylinder they're added together now now I'm still in the block you see all well, the rest is not there I'm just editing this block if I close the tools here oops I close the blocks as well tools palettes blocks there's the block now you see that it's not there at the moment because that block I've taken it out I'm working on it when I finished it I click on to this tick box finish edit content and there I am I'm back into my drawing and you can see that all the blocks have all changed at the same time okay so that's the the, uh, the beauty of blocks really so just one more point then when uh, you get a drawing in 
to uh, to be edited or for you to understand just what you're going to do. You know, when, whenever you get a CAD drawing in, you need to have a look around the drawing to see exactly what you're looking at, what's what, what are symbols, what things are on what layers, and also look at the blocks. Because theoretically, all anything that's used more than once that's the same should be made into a block. Okay, that's it.